We couldn't possibly have a bad pillow in the video. Okay. Much better. Alright. Hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is just going to be a little quick information. Hmm. This video, I'm <laughs> I do this every time I film a video. Hey, 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 hey. Get your shit together. Hey, uh. Okay guys, I thought today I would do a quick video for everyone out there that is currently applying for Love Island Australia Season 2. I have been getting so many messages from boys and girls about what they should write on their application, what should they do for their video, etc, etc. So I thought I'm going to make a quick video for everyone to watch and hopefully it helps. Um, I'm going to screen record my MacBook. Ooh, you guys saw how dirty that was. Okay. Moving forward, I'm screen recording here, and I will put it here on the screen somewhere later on. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the page that will come up when you want to apply for Love Island Australia 2. Oh. Now, I'm like, obviously, you're young, you're sexy, you're single, you're aged between 18 and 35. Duh. That's why we're applying. Now, obviously your full name, date of birth, blah, 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 all that information, boring. This is what will come up on the screen after you've entered your personal information. It goes to the next bit, which is about you. Now, this is where I, when I was playing for Love Island, I didn't think I was going to get in. So I literally didn't take the piss out of it, but was like, I'm going to be so upfront and honest. And I don't think these people are going to want me on TV. Okay, so now this one says, in 50 words or fewer, please write a dating profile for yourself. Now, when I was doing this for me, I was just like, just don't think too much into it and don't get so overwhelmed. I'm like, I want to get in, I want to get in. Because when I was applying, I was like, I don't think I'm going to get in. I don't have any hopes for it. So I'm just going to write the application. If they like it, they like it. And if they don't, fuck it. There's always next year. So I'm pretty sure I was just explaining to them what I feel like I am like to date. So um, fun, crazy. Um, also, if I'm out on a date and they're boring, I would tell them straight up. I don't like walks on the beach because I hate the beach. I hate getting sand everywhere, but I'd like tanning. Like just fun stuff, but don't do it too over the top like you're really trying to get in because the producers and the casting director and stuff like that, they will be able to tell when they're fishing through all these applications that you've just written this because it looks good. You know what I mean? And also use lols, lols, smiley faces, ha 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 in brackets, because that's what I did a lot. <laughs> How do you spend your time, include your hobbies and interests? I wrote to them, I have no hobbies. <laughs> I'm like, but my interests are laying in bed, drinking wine, watching Judge Judy, um, cutting fucking shapes at nightclubs, and something like, something funny, obviously. Like, just being myself, because at the time, I was newly single, and I was like, this is hilarious. Like, these questions are amazing, because I'm being so honest. Like, it's better to be honest. Um, describe your ideal partner, include the things that they must have and deal breakers. Oh gosh, this is bringing back so many memories. Um, my ideal partner was like tall, muscly, tattoos, nice smile, smells good. Um, they must have neck tattoos was what I wrote on this. I was like, neck tattoos are a must. And now my partner that I love to death has no tattoos. <laughs> um, and deal breakers, it was like someone whose feet stink. Feet that stink, ugh. Um, smelly breath and if you're still friends with your ex-girlfriend that were like massive deal breakers for me um, so just real quick and easy and write in your application as if you're talking to your best friend like talk that's exactly oh my god I'm so good at advice that is the best thing ever talk on your application as if you're answering these questions to one of your best friends because when you're talking to your best friend like you don't feel judged or anything like that and you're just saying whatever and you're having a laugh so just have a good old laugh with the application. I don't know what accent that was. Um, okay, tell us why someone would want to date you. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wrote in brackets at the start, just look at my profile photos. I'm sexy as fuck, lol. Like taking the piss out of myself. And then I also said, because I'm so funny and once you meet me, everyone wants to be with me. Or something like that, like just being stupid. How long have you been single for? You must be single to appear in the program. 
I like how that's in brackets now because Grant wasn't fucking single and that just bypassed everyone. So yeah, if you're not single, don't apply for Love Island because it will backfire on you. Well, it didn't really backfire on Grant because he won, but then it backfired on him after he came out. So he had the money, but he's, he's a terrible person. Okay, anyway, Woo! anyway, moving forward. Um, give us a brief description of your dating history, including the length of your past relationship and why you broke up. So before I went on Love Island, I was with someone for three years and they cheated on me and it was terrible and I wrote the biggest description you could think of. I just like ripped them, I ripped them a new asshole in this application, like I was just, it was like I was just talking to a counsellor and I was like, I couldn't do this to me and she is, 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 is me, 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 me. Um, and they obviously liked it because I got on. Um, have you ever been married? Oh gosh, no. I was like, no, do you have children? No. Why would you choose Love Island? And I wrote because I actually dead set on my application said I didn't even know about Love Island until my friends, two of my good close friends told me that I should go on Love Island because I'm fucking hilarious. And I was like, you know what? I am hilarious. So I wrote that. I'm like, I just got told that I would be really funny for this show. So choose me. XO. Do you have a secret crush that you think we should invite to Love Island? Oh my gosh, I was like, do you know who I put down? Daryl Dixon. I was like, yes, I have this crush. I think he really likes me as well. This is his Instagram handle. <laughs> so he'll never come on Love Island. Yeah. But yeah, see, I was taking the piss out of the application, but also being serious. And I feel like they could get that because when they met me, I was exactly like I was on my application. Funny as fuck. Um, have you applied or appeared on TVs? I wrote Beauty and the Geek season 5 and I said now I'm probably not going to get it. Now I'm probably not going to get in lol YOLO or something like <laughs> lame. Media outlets are no. Do you currently blog? Well I didn't at the time but um, I feel like this season everyone should be slightly more smarter right because I didn't realise how big Instagram was before I applied. If I give you one little tip now is clean up your Instagram because they will stalk the fuck out of your Instagram if they see a photo they don't like, the way you're speaking to people, they will not like put you on TV because they will see how you handle situations. So before sending this application, make sure your pu your Instagram is on public and just clean up your Instagram, like clean up photos that it might be like a bit like, ugh, and comments that are a bit like, ooh, you know what I mean? Do you have a management representation? No, <laughs> as if I did. Now you guys are going to get up to the part where you have to upload a recent photo of yourself and it says no filters please. I mean I used to filter for my photo that I uploaded because I was like right. What photos did I send them? I think I sent them a really nice selfie, a really nice full length and then a really nice like party fun photo I think. I can't remember, but it doesn't matter. I know I use some sort of filter. Anyway, I feel like the application has changed a little bit. So it does say photos slash videos, right? But when I applied, you only had to upload photos of yourself. Then the application got sent through. And then you, you would get an email from someone saying you made it through to the next round. Please upload a video of yourself answering these questions. Now I have the video. I found it on my old phone. So I'm going to put it up on the screen. Only a snippet of it because... Oh, fuck it. I'm going to put the entire video on. And do not take me seriously. I took the piss out of this video. I was being like a dickhead and like it meant nothing. And this just goes to show you guys what I did for the video. Um, oh my god, it's so embarrassing. I actually don't know if I want to put it up. I was getting ready for work. I just came back from the gym. My hair is fucking disgusting. It's like yellow. It's very sweaty. I almost didn't... I almost ran out of time to do the video because I kept getting reminders to put the video through um, via email and I was just like, no, fuck it, I can't bother, I can't bother. And I had one day left to do it and I was like, oh, I'll just send it through. So it was a real quick video and I wrote on a piece of paper what the questions were and I stuck it on the wall so I could answer. All right, so I'm going to let you guys watch my video now and judge the fuck out of me. But just know I was taking the piss out of myself and... I was single at the time, now I'm in a very happy love and relationship and Michael baby if you're watching this don't take anything I said seriously because I was single back then. I love you so much. <laughs>
So um, I can make myself look really sexy. I mean, if I get in, you'll see. Um, how would I describe my personality? Oh, I'm crazy. I'm hectic. I have no limits. I say what I want. I do what I want. I have no shame. I honestly have no shame. I don't get embarrassed. I could trip and fall. My tick could fall out and I'd be fine with it. I don't care. Um, if I had to arrange a date, what would it be? First date, anywhere with alcohol, anywhere. You cannot go on a date and not drink alcohol. I mean, some people are just so boring and you just think, fuck, I would love to have some alcohol right now. Um, my celebrity crush, oh, Jesus Christ, is Norman Reedus. He's from The Walking Dead. He's Daryl Dixon on The Walking Dead. I am obsessed with him. I've applied for so many applications to try and meet him. All these competitions, but they're all in America. I actually won a competition and I won a portrait of him and I just make love to it every night. Um, why should you choose me? I mean, I'm so much fun. I don't know if you can tell by this video, but I'm just so straightforward, fun and hectic. I mean, I say what I want. Girls don't really like me that much, but I don't give a fuck. Um, I'm not in it to make friends. I'm in it to find love and to be on TV and just do whatever the fuck I want with whoever I want. I mean, you only live once, right, YOLO? And all my friends are like, you need to go on this show, like you need to. I think it's because I'm so straightforward, but when you see me, I'm just like this girly girl, but when I talk, I kind of sound like a bogan. Um, what makes me different? Um, I think just from this video, you'll be able to see, I'm guessing nearly every girl will get all dolled up and dressed up to make a video, and I'm just about to head to work. So I was like, quickly, just chuck on some makeup. And get... This isn't even a lot of makeup just to make this video. Um, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping what happens to me on this show is I do find love, which I probably won't. Um, I hope I do find love or find someone that I have a real connection with. There's nothing worse when you're on a date and all these guys are saying all these things to get in your pants. Um, how would I rate my looks or personality? Well, I just got my tits done in August, so I guess that makes me a 10 now. Personality is 100. I have the best personality. I can get along with anyone and everyone besides girls. They hate me. I don't know why. Um... Yeah, so I just really hope you choose me. We'll have so much fun together. I will make the best TV ever. You just got to give me a chance. Don't take this video as what I can look. My hair is really oily. I can get dressed up and dolled up, but I have to go to work. I mean, if you choose me, I won't have to go to work anymore, and I can just be a celebrity and make the best TV and hopefully find love and hopefully kiss a thousand boys that are so good looking. Um, I do have standards. It sounds like I'm just a massive hoe, but no, I do have standards. I mean, when I'm drunk, who has standards? But that's all right. Anyway, I hope to hear back from you soon. I can't wait to be on Love Island. <laughs> now that you guys have finished watching that, I'm going to help you with your video. Now, don't overthink it and don't overdo it. I think the video can only go for about three minutes. I pushed mine for like three and a half, I think. Um, make sure it's in good lighting don't do it where it's like a real stage thing like a youtube thing like with a ring light and all that like i did it near my front door with good lighting had a piece of paper up um near the door it kept fucking falling down just quickly to answer some questions like i held my phone like this not like this don't sit it on something have it so and then like talk to them like you're facetiming your best friend just keep thinking this is my best friend why should they pick you for love island why wouldn't you pick me for love island started off like that be like overconfident but also kind of funny don't be arrogant or cocky just be yeah i don't know how to explain that but just be like funny and mucking around like why wouldn't you pick me for love island um i'm really easy to get along with but sometimes girls hate me or sometimes boys get in intimidated by me and i can totally see why you know what i mean like you're just being funny and mucking around but they'll also see that you've got a serious side to you and you've also got a bitchy side or like a feisty side and they'll be like "Ooh, like i want to see this girl get angry with this girl and fight on tv no that's fighting on tv is bad fighting on tv is terrible don't do it don't copy me arguing with girls on tv was not the best idea i did be yourself like they want to see that they you don't understand when you meet uh, if it's the same um casting directors and all that from last time and obviously it's the same producers who i know when you meet them they are the most sickest down-to-earth people you'll ever meet in your life like they're not like uptight they've got sticks up their asses like they're so amazing so just literally talk on your video like you're talking to your best friend with the video that is your one shot to show them in three minutes or five minutes whatever the length is now to show them why they should see you face to face
do as many videos as you need until you think you have the right one. With me, I did one video, one shot, and I said to them, I don't have time to do another video, so... And then I was cracking jokes, saying things like you saw, like, well, um, if you give me an audition, I can look sexier face to face. Like, just, you know what I mean? Because I didn't have time to do another video. With the auditions, when you go in there, this is for the girls. I'm not quite sure about the boys because I didn't audition as a man. But when you go there, you have to wear bikinis underneath whatever outfit you're wearing because you'll have a face-to-face -face audition with one of the producers and then they will take photos of you in your nice outfit. Then they'll get you to take your clothes off and wear your bikinis to see what you look like in bikinis. And then they ask you to take your makeup off. Okay, girls? They ask you to take your makeup off so they can take a photo of you without your makeup on. Just say yes. When you have your audition, don't do anything else for the rest of the day. Because a lot of the girls that were going in for the audition said no to taking their makeup off because they had work or they had a party to go to or they're going out for dinner. Like, just cancel your entire day because they want to see you with no makeup and they want to see that it doesn't bother you not to wear makeup. Because it was so funny when the lady was like, all right, now just take your makeup off. I was like, I'm sorry. Um, do you know how long it took me to do this wing? And she's like, you don't have to. I'm like, no, I'm going to. I just need you to appreciate that this took a long time. And then I'm taking it off and she's like, all right, you can take your lashes off now. And I was like, <laughs> what? No, these are stuck on for life. And then she's like, oh, that's all right then. And it was so funny. I was like, oh no, I've got pimples everywhere. Like I had big pimples all here on the side of my lip. And I was like, oh God. And I was in the photos. And then I was being so funny. Like when the lady was like, all right. Like she's just standing there with a normal camera. And you're standing in this like over there. And she's like, all right, just pose. And I was having so much fun with it. I was like, how do you want me to pose? Like this, like this, or like this. I'm like, I can pose however you like. And like they legit took photos of me like that. <laughs> Another little hot tip. When you go for your audition, I know it's really hard to say, don't be nervous, don't do this, just don't be nervous. Or if you are nervous, don't show. When I went there, I was kind of like shitting my pants because I saw all the other girls coming in for the auditions and I was like, oh, this girl's so much prettier. She's got nicer clothes on, like she's tanner than me. Like I was just so upset because I felt ugly. Um, and then I just calmed down and I was just so chill. When you get in and you sit down with the producer to have your audition, don't sit down like this. Don't sit down like all like stiff, legit. Just sit down all fucking chilled. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding you. When I sat down on the chair, I legit sat and um, so like the table was here and I just had my arm on the table and I was just like talking like I was talking to one of my friends. And the producer, I'll never forget, I love her, said to me, she was like, um, I can just tell by your body language that you're just, so, you're not nervous, are you? And I was like, no, I'm like, I'm just happy that I got an audition. I'm like, it's just like talking to a friend. And then um, inside I was fucking shitting myself. Like I was like not breathing. I was like, hey, hey, I'm really nervous. And then um, they just ask you questions again. They go through your application with you. And when you see them face to face, you want them to remember you. Now, there was thousands of girls that auditioned and only five of us got through. So us five girls at the very beginning were that amazing at the start that they could not forget us. And then after your face-to-face -face audition, they either, they give you a piece of paper right with your name on it, and if they turn it around and they put the letter C with a circle, it means you have a camera interview. Now that is when you know you've made it because if you don't get a camera interview, they think you're boring and they're like, thank you for coming for the audition. Someone will contact you later. You didn't make it. Okay, you want the piece of paper with the C with the circle because it means now you have to wait in the waiting room and then someone's going to come get you and you're going to do a video audition with someone. So my video audition was so funny because um, it was the first time. I felt kind of awkward because it's literally someone just with an iPhone like this <laughs> in front of you being like, Okay, Erin, so just tell us your name and where you're from. And I was like, now? <laughs> I'm like, and I couldn't stop laughing and I was like, I'm so sorry. But I think this is the most awkwardest thing ever because you're not sitting directly behind the phone. So I'm looking here and you're telling me to look at the camera when I answer the questions. I'm like, I feel like, can you sit there? Because then I can talk properly. Like, I was just saying what I was thinking. And they loved it. But I just thought... If I show you my video and show you how much I took the piss out of myself and didn't really 
like put my entire life into this application and was like, oh my God, I need to get on this show. Like I was just so chill. If I don't get on, I don't get on. If I do, oh my God, that's amazing. So do that. And just remember, Love Island Australia has hit it off big time. There's going to be many, many seasons. So if you don't get on this year, there's always next year. And they're always looking for people that have applied. The, the, ho, 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 ho. They're always looking for people that have applied previously. So don't give up. Like if I didn't get on last year, I'd be like fucking rude. And then keep applying. And then in my application, every time I'd be like, well, 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 you didn't give me an audition last year, but this year you will. <laughs> like just keep fighting for what you want. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was probably really boring. I think I speak too fast sometimes. Very sorry. I will slow down my talking. I Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it's been like slightly helpful. Um, if you want any other tips on your application, just leave a comment below or message me on Instagram. If you like the video, give it, a, give it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And yeah, I hope you guys all have a great day and good luck with your applications. Mwah.